So you may have noticed, I'm not sure, but I did get a new fender. Today we are going to a local association show. These are the shows I go to in order to qualify for state at the end of the year, kind of September. And so I want to qualify for state, but I don't want to run Chester at these. They're not for money, they're only for points, and he just does not need all those runs. So since Kite is raring to go, he gets to go run. It's only like 10 minutes from the barn. The dirt is good usually, so it's a perfect place for him to go. And the first outing for the new fender here so i'm gonna put some of the stuff i have here in the tack room and then when we get to the barn we will have to load all of my tack over to this trailer I grabbed these hot head styles boots which match the cactus brush color you just saw me put in the trailer and I brush off the inside because I do wear these boots a lot I really love them and they brush off so well so here you can see me I'm brushing off the inside and I get all of that hair and dirt out of there and I put them on my stirrups so that I know right where they are when I'm tacking up and I don't have to come back to the tack room to get them so I hang them on my stirrups and I get to the bell boots that are also pretty dusty and look at them it comes right off with a brush no problem and still looks great so I do really love that it's very easy and simple and I don't have to go you know pressure blast them with the water hose so here is the tack room with all the tack I'm gonna need for kite and I also grab a quick release because I prefer to use these at the trailer Okay, so we have loaded all of his tack in the trailer. I'm taking two saddle pads. I think I'll run in the Winchester one, but I have not decided. I have his bit, his reins, his breast collar, saddle, boots, helmet, lots of options, and treats and salt block in a quick release, and of course, my boots. So, we are good at two. We have all of the tack in the trailer, so now we're gonna load Kite up. So I think it's kind of um, good in a way that he gets to be the first person to ride in the new trailer. Honestly, way better than yeah. I thought he was about to do. 
Good job. Go, big boy. He's like. When we get there, I take off his lead rope and add this quick release thing. Just in case he were to set back, you can just pull the quick release and it pops right off. Does that fit on there? Yeah. Good. And I take that lead rope off to get it out of the way. And I also give him a salt block to mess with while he's here. Which, of course, he absolutely loves it at the trailer at home. But now it's not going to touch it when we are at a race. After we've been here for a little while and I know Barrels is about to start, I start grooming him. He is still losing some hair. Thankfully, not as much as he was. So I do start with the Slick Easy. And he is such a drama queen at the trailer. And I really don't know why he's been that way for a long time. He's 23. I don't think he's going to change anytime soon. So I work on getting all that hair off and bringing the dust up to the top with the Slick Easy because I will grow in with another brush after this one before tagging up. <laughs> Now that I think I've gotten all of the hair I can really get off, I go over with a hard brush to knock off that dust and anything else that might be stuck on him. I don't want anything under the saddle or under the cinches. So I make sure I brush everywhere the saddle goes. I brush under his stomach where the cinches go. And I brush where boots go, making sure there's nothing under any piece of tack that is going to be on him tonight. And of course, I kind of dust him off around elsewhere for cosmetic reasons okay you gotta look good to do good here when i am good with that i go back to the tack room to grab him a saddle pad i do grab this saddle pad that chester won and i think it'll work good for kite and then i will also probably use the new five star on him as well and then my saddle is from circle y so i grab that down and throw it on and i don't like slamming my saddle on any horse but like i've mentioned kite is older so i definitely don't want to do it on him i pick up my saddle pad over his withers to tint it to relieve any pressure that might bug him and then i have to tighten the cinch because he is built a lot different than my other horses i do them very loose I I will tighten them right before our run tonight. When I have the saddle on and the cinch is done, I go and grab this Hot Head Stalls Cactus Breast Collar and put that on him. And here he was really intrigued by a mini horse and I had to stop doing what I was doing to take some pictures of him because he looked just so cute before continuing to tack him up. I really like how light this breast collar is. I don't think it adds really any extra weight here and I actually just bought a lightweight saddle so I'm gonna be so excited to try that on him. I think he's really gonna enjoy that. I pet him some and get these fly boots off so that I can put our running boots on. I just pull them off. He's very obviously just so dramatic about everything in this whole world and when i get those off i just throw them in the tack room so i will put them on when we get back home tonight I do apologize about how dark it is getting. I pick his hoofs because I want to look in there. I don't want there to be any rocks. I don't want anything uncomfortable. And I want to just get a good look before our run. Once that is done, I move on to the sports boots. I want them for support and to hold his tendons in place and everything. And you do need to make sure that you have nothing under the sports boot that could move anything out of place. So you got to make sure it's really clean under there. And here is where I learned that I'm about 10 seconds away from missing my run.
after hearing this very tragic news, after I've been here all day, that they are literally dragging before my run. So I run it to the tack room, throw on my helmet super fast. We fly across the parking lot. I still make sure he trotted and loped both directions before I let him go. And I had a very big moral dilemma about this. So I just let him lope. I kind of held him down and tricked him to the first barrel into thinking this was probably just some exhibition that he was doing. So I really, really did not let him run. And he still gave me some really nice turns. I think he's really enjoying the snaffle and wanting to work really good for me. I'm obviously not going to overrun him or anything, and he did slip there, but I do think he still really, really loves his job, and he still ran a really decent time for him here, and of course, he was just loping, so I'm sure he will be able to run in the 16s later this year. <laughs> Now that that fiasco is done, I walk him out and he was so excited he kept trying to trot and run because he thought that was just our warm up and our real run is about to happen. I let him graze and offer him some water while I get his tack off. I take everything off as quick as I can to relieve him of any of that and so he can get home and eat dinner, which is what he cares most about in this whole world. let him graze around a minute and give him a treat for putting up with my silly self that cannot tell time but he still did really good and he had so much fun running across the parking lot he was very very into it now it is time to go home i load him up and I don't tie him. He's really, really good in the trailer. And when we get back to the barn, I see if he wants to back up himself. And he does not. scared so we did almost miss our run which is my bad we were out there all day and i still did that um but i did make sure he was warm like i wasn't gonna run him if i didn't think i'd given him enough time trotting and loping and i didn't push him to the first barrel at all i was having a dilemma over that um so we will be back and ready for the next one and i will get on I put him back in his stall and get his cribbing collar on, and here he is chowing down on his dinner. <laughs> I did. I was more out of breath than he was. Okay. Are we ready? Hi. <laughs> so, almost missing my run was kind of embarrassing. It was all my fault. I was there all day. I saddled early, and I still missed my run. I thought there was no way in the world. I'm in a different age division, but, I mean, I can't really blame that. I can only blame myself here. Um, but Kai had fun. That's what mattered. He really did. Um, I only let him lope to the first barrel, and then he really stretched out coming out. He did almost fall, and so between that and not really lope, like really just loping the pattern he ran a 17.6 which is really not bad at all um so i think he can probably place i do want to go to state and so if i need points at the end of the season i will probably take chester he needs a run every once in a while for his brain honestly i think runs are less exerting for him than riding him at home because he gets himself all worked up and it's kind of hard on himself and sometimes he just needs a run for to calm calm his mind i don't want to overrun him it's kind of hard to justify running him for points but if I have to, I can, but I really do think Kite can be in the 16s just fine. So we'll just see how it goes. It does get pretty dark at these, so I don't know if I'll vlog all of them. Let me know if you want me to, though. I might make mini vlogs. Let me know if you want mini vlogs and a big vlog or just a mini vlog. It's up to you. I'll try not to make a silly little mistake at the next one. But other than that, this was fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go shower and go to sleep. Bye. I want to give a giant shout out to everybody you see on the screen right now. You guys are awesome. Make sure you go check them out. And I will put in the description how you can get a chance to be shouted out in the next video. Okay, bye. Bye.